staying with us, we turn our attention now to the state of Indiana, where a judge has just recused himself from the Delphi murder case. Richard Allen was arrested last week, accused of murdering 13-year-old Abby Williams and 14-year-old Libby German. His arrest came five years after the two best friends went missing in their hometown of Delphi, Indiana. Court TV affiliate WRTV interviewed Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter on the investigation and why they decided not to use a sketch that very closely resembled Allen. Two years into the investigation, um, after we got the initial sketch, um, we were told to not uh, rely on that sketch anymore, that this was a new sketch that came out mm -hmm. that looked completely different than the mm -hmm. original. But when we see the mugshot of um, Richard Allen, he looks mostly like that initial um, sketch. So why the, why the change two years in is someone that didn't look yeah. anything like the person that we were presented with on Monday? Well, I'll answer the question in two parts. One, isn't that amazing that he looks a lot like one? and a little bit like the other, depending upon the eye of the beholder, right? Um, and I've said all along, those sketches are not pho photographs. There are reasons that we stru structurally, and, or not structurally, but logistically changed uh, the investigative strategy throughout the middle of this, and, and in multiple phases. Some th were not even recognized, nor did they have to be. But those detectives are gonna base what they're going to do ba on, based upon what they know, and what they know comes from the people that live in that community and around the world, literally around the world. So I think that was the absolute right decision at the time to do what they did. I've always said that the, that the, the two sketches are simply sketches, they're not photographs. It's a piece of an investigative puzzle. And when we're all done with this, we're gonna be able to build the two of them together. And we're, gonna, we're going to find an individual. That's what happened. Mm, this case is such a mystery and just want to emphasize a couple things. If you haven't followed the Delphi murder mystery case, a couple important things to know. We still don't know how these two girls died. We don't know how they were killed. We don't know if it was strangulation. We don't know if it was a gunshot. That still hasn't been released. Another important thing to know is that after Richard Allen was arrested, the state moved and the court agreed to have everything sealed, the indictment, the affidavit of probable cause, all of it. So nobody knows the basis for charging this guy. And another thing that just happened, he was just moved from custody in the county jail to state custody at an undisclosed location uh, because there's so much interest and pressure and his safety is at risk, okay? Just plain and simple, simple his safety is at risk. Uh, so the court was right to move him. Uh, because remember, this guy's innocent. He has to be proven guilty by the state. And so we don't know, did the state get the right guy? Maybe, maybe not. Is there a, a, a co-defendant that they're trying to get? Why is everything sealed? Let me bring in my guests and see what they think about that. They both have experience doing criminal defense work. Joe Tamburino, Natasha Robinson on the program today. Uh, Joe, I'll start with you, please. Why do you think the state wants all this stuff sealed? I think because of exactly what you just last mentioned, which is could there be other people? Could there be co-defendants? The number one reason for sealing anything in court is because you don't want to jeopardize an ongoing investigation. And just because you have one person charged does not mean that the investigation is over. He could have had people help him, help him in the murder, help him in the cover-up help him in some way or fashion. And by having all this information public at this point might tip others off. Really, that's, I would say, the biggest reason why you would want to have the, this information sealed. Joe, thank you. Natasha, what do you say to that question, please? Oh, I agree uh, with what has been stated. And I would also say it seems like that this defendant could possibly be involved in something else, either as a defendant in another case or as a witness in another case. And so to preserve uh, his protection, to make sure that no facts are being leaked because he may 
not be the only one involved in this case or perhaps involved in another case. It uh, seems to be they're, they're being proactive in their secrecy. Uh, there are just so many twists and turns in this case right now. And the only thing that we know other than the death of these uh, young women is that this person has been, or rather is being held accountable, but we don't know what for as of yet. Exactly, Natasha. Thank you for that. I want to share with everyone a piece of evidence that has really been the only piece of evidence put out into the public realm on this case since those two girls were found dead. And that is that cell phone video that was taken from Libby German's phone. Um, and you see a man in the video and you hear the words, guys down the hill. Let's watch it together now. We know those girls were dropped off to go for a hike. We know it was one of the children's sisters that drove them there. Kelsey German uh, is Libby German's sister who dropped them off. There was nothing suspicious about what was going on. They were going to be together on this hike. Never seen or heard from since the next day. Their bodies were found near that bridge in Delphi. Uh, that piece of evidence, um, I, I, I can see why investigators uh, uh, for many years didn't have much to go on with that. Um, Joe Tamburino, um, any thoughts on, on that video, what it shows and, and what we hear in it, please? defendant it's great evidence because that puts him right there with the girls no doubt about it and he could have been the last person that saw the girls now i have no idea because again everything's been sealed what is the corroboration that that is him that it's his voice has the prosecution tried to get any other types of voice samples from the defendant so there's a lot of things we don't know but if that's him in that video that's pretty damning evidence toward him you're right joe if that is him that is huge Let's take a listen to an interview that Kelsey German, Libby's sister, did, uh, talking about that day, kind of recounting what all happened. Libby walked into the bathroom and asked if I would take them, go with them, and spend, spend the day um, just enjoying the trails and taking pictures. Um, since I had to work, I said no. Um, so a little while later, she came and asked me again, and I told her if she could find a ride home, um, I would drop them off. And they got out of my car. Uh, I made sure they both had sweatshirts. I told them goodbye. I told Libby I loved her. Um, they walked out, and um, that was the last time I saw them. Uh, Natasha, can we talk, please, about uh, the heartache that these families have been through, uh, particularly Kelsey German? You see that I can't imagine what that would be like, you know, to just be going about your business. You're, you're helping your sister enjoy a beautiful day outside with her best friend and and then to probably try to replay it in your mind after the fact. Um, could you speak to that, please, to, to the families uh, of these victims and what they're probably going through right now? can imagine you are definitely incorrect i'm the oldest of three girls and to be able to try and reconstruct the last time i had seen them not knowing it was the last time i'd see them is heart-wrenching she is uh, counted on to not just tell her account but in a way she gets re-traumatized if you will because she has to tell not only uh, people in court, but strangers about what she did in relation to taking her sister and her friend to this location. Uh, I, I, I think that that would take a lot of emotional strength and for the families to still not know, not have any closure as to what happened to their loved ones is a wound that seems to be uh, being opened again and again and again, and my heart goes out to them. Yeah, most certainly, Natasha. Thank you for that. Our hearts do as well. Uh, these families certainly deserve justice, and we'll see if it's going to come in the form of prosecution of Richard Allen or of a prosecution of, of anyone else. Stay tuned.